Hey guys, it's Fiery. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I thought it would be really nice to paint something wintry. So when I was scrolling through Pinterest, I found this picture and I think it's a really good contrast between the cold outside and the warm inside. And it just gives off a really calming ambience that I really liked. So when I started painting this piece, I never realized how long it will actually take me because it's so hard to paint snow. Um, snow is something that's even hard to capture on camera because I'm sure you also experience this when you go outside and the sun is shining and you look at it and you just see these millions of tiny crystals like sparkling in the sunshine it's one of the most beautiful things ever and it's just really hard to give it justice so you will see that I keep going back to the snowy area until I'm finally uh, happy with the result but I don't think I could give it justice and I thought I would just share some nice memories of mine with snow. Um, I remember when I was small, it used to snow every winter. And unfortunately nowadays, it's not the case. It haven't snowed for a really, really long time. If we are lucky, we get one or two snow days here in Budapest, but not really more, which makes me so desperately sad because I have such nice memories of it and I kind of just want to experience it again. I remember those mornings when I would get up with my sister and we would just look outside. Okay, first we just, you can just see that there is something whitish outside through the curtains and then you would pull the curtains away and this huge white scenery just pops before your eyes and it would be the most magical thing. We would quickly go grab some breakfast and then just go outside in the garden to play. And our house is actually built on like not a flat ground but like a, a slopey ground so we would go sledging all day and also going there building things. I don't know, we would even make dishes out of snow and building igloos and stuff. And I remember we often go to the neighborhood playground to sledge because those slopes were the best and you could go so fast. It was amazing. Um, I also have really nice memories walking around our neighborhood. I was lucky enough to grow up in an area which is full of trees and nature and to just see the, these tiny birds hopping through the snow and looking for berries. We would feed the birds many times. I just remember me sitting inside uh, on our couch and looking outside on the window and looking how these tiny birds were just feasting from the seeds that we put outside. Oh, such <laughs> nice memories. Um, also, I re remember when I was in elementary school, we would have these epic snowball fights with my classmates and it's something just so irreplaceable and I know I'm an adult and I should act like an adult or at least that's what society expects from me but if I would get the chance again to <laughs> to have these snowball fights I would just hop right into it and do it and Mm. I also remember one time, we were already in high school with my friend, we would live in the same neighborhood, but our high school would be in the middle of the city, so we had to took the, the bus, which would take us down from the hill to the center of the city, and this one time it snowed so much that the whole traffic just froze and we would have to walk from our neighborhood which I think it would be in like a 30 minutes walk in the snow between the cars and everything slipping through the streets 
and we would arrive in class like 30 minutes late or something and we would be full of snow from our top to the bottom and we would barge into our classroom and everyone was looking at us and uh, it was a crazy experience. I really <laughs> miss these times. So I also want to talk a little bit about the painting that I'm doing here. Um, I'm again using the Himi gouache set, which lately is my favorite thing. You will see that in this piece I'm using the technique where I'm layering darker, darker colors first and only after that I'm putting the snow and the highlights on top, which is such a nice thing because for example when you're using watercolor you must plan the whole piece ahead where you want your highlights because there you cannot put down any colors but with gouache you have a bit more freedom and you can just decide later on how the piece is going on where you want certain colors and because the coverage is so well you can just go go ahead and just have a nice time painting it you don't have to stress about anything because you can just correct it if something is wrong i'm not sure how many layers you can put on top of each other but i never had any problems and the best thing is I don't have like a really high quality sketchbook, but it doesn't bleed through. I put a base layer down and I pay attention not to use too much water and then um, it works really nicely. And that's a really pleasant experience. So I hope that you will enjoy this piece and uh, let's go back to painting.
Sing it for your whole life. So let me be your family this Christmas. And let this be the season that you've been waiting for. Let me be your family this Christmas. Give to you myself this year. I promise I'm yours. This year you've left me wondering. Just how you're feeling, and I want you to know my doubts about is real. Me walking barefoot in the San Diego snow. I wanna make you. I wanna make you. I wanna make you feel something familiar. I celebrate you. God did His thing with ya. Don't be a stranger. Be my day. Without ya, this ain't a holiday. So let me be your family this Christmas. Let me be your family. Let this be the season that you've been waiting for. Let me be your family this Christmas. Let me be your family. Give to you myself this year. I promise I'm yours.
guys if you reached this end of the video i would like to say thank you for tagging along and this was a really nice painting process i really enjoyed it although i have like five hours worth of footage to edit now which will be uh, a challenge to get through anyways if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye